Hello everybody welcome to number one doctor channel. Today we will talk about Soprenic abscess. The soprenic region lies between the diaphragm above and the transverse colon with mesocolon below and is divided further by the liver and its ligaments. The right and left soprenic spaces lie between the diaphragm and the liver and are separated from each other by the falciform ligament. The right and left subhepatic spaces are below the liver, the right forming Morrison's pouch and the left being the lesser sac, which communicates with the former through the foramen of Winslow. The right extraperitoneal space lies between the bare area of the liver and the diaphragm. About two-thirds of sopranic abscesses occur on the right side. Rarely, they are bilateral. Regarding etiology, a localized collection of pus may occur in the sopranic region following general peritonitis. Usually, the underlying cause is a peritonitis involving the upper abdomen, leakage following biliary or gastric surgery, or a perforated peptic ulcer. Rarely, infection occurs from hematogenous spread or from direct spread from a primary chest lesion, for example empyema. Regarding the clinical features, soprenic infection usually follows general peritonitis after 10 to 21 days, although, if antibiotics have been given, an abscess may be disguised and may only manifest to weeks or even months after the original episode. There may be no localizing symptoms. The patient presenting with malaise, nausea, loss of weight, anemia and pyrexia, hence the aphorism pus somewhere, pus nowhere else, pus under the diaphragm. At least half the patients have a fever, which continues from the original peritonitis, although the standard description is of a swinging temperature, which commences some 10 days after the initial illness. Localizing features are pain in the upper abdomen or lower chest, or referred to the shoulder tip with localized upper abdominal or chest wall tenderness. There may be signs of fluid or collapse at the lung base. In late cases, a swelling may be detected over the lower chest wall or upper abdomen. Regarding the investigations. Full blood count. The white count is raised in the region of 15 to 20 times 109 slash L, with a polymorph leukocytosis. Chest X-ray may show the following. Elevation of the diaphragm on the affected side. Pleural effusion, a nord collapse of the lung base. Gas in a fluid level below the diaphragm. Ultrasound may show diminished or absent mobility of the diaphragm, and may demonstrate the sopranic abscess. CT will demonstrate an abscess, and also locate any other intraperitoneal collections of pus. Regarding treatment of sopranic abscess. In early cases, where there is absence of gas and free fluid on x-ray, the patient is placed on broad-spectrum antibiotic therapy. If there is a rapid response, the diagnosis is one of a spreading cellulitis of the sopranic space. If there is clinical or radiological evidence of a localized abscess, or if resolution fails to occur on antimicrobial chemotherapy, percutaneous drainage may be carried out under ultrasound or CT guidance. If this fails, or the abscess is loculated, surgical drainage is performed. Depending on the location of the abscess, this is carried out either by a posterior extraperitoneal approach through the bed of, or just below, the twelfth rib or by an anterior approach via subcostal incision. Thanks for watching. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel number one doctor. With my best witches. Doctor. 8 Fomid